In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to use Power Apps Label Control, Text Input Control and HTML Text Control. So basically the label control is used to display static text or calculated values that do not require user input. Suppose you want to display any message or any calculation part then you can use this label control where wherever the text input control helps to user to enter and edit the text suppose you want to suppose in the uh, registration form so you are entering that uh, field so in that case you can use the text input control and html text control helps to display formatted html content so you can see some uh, some of the text you want to design in HTML and CSS. In that case, you can use the HTML text input control. So let me move to the Power Apps application and show you one by one how we can use these three text input control. So uh, I jump to the Power Apps application. Let me add three of the text input control. First one is text label control. To add a label control uh, or to add any control, you can click on this insert uh, option and then text level control this is a text level control i will show you the difference between these these three control a second i will add text input control that means that uh, you can allow user to enter that text or data into it and the third one is i will add html text html text so you can see here so these three are difference you can see here uh, suppose you want to show any message message means suppose i will write something welcome to power apps vault and here text input you can see uh, the default property i mean just make it blank because uh, like i don't want to display any text input while opening the form or while opening this uh, review so I just made it default. So I mean in the preview mode, I can enter the data. I will show you that one. And here you can see there is a text, uh, there is a HTML text uh, property. You can see here inside these, you can write your text and make uh, your text attractive. That means you can see here, it is showing so here, then uh, bold, then font color equal to blue, HTML, and then uh, end of the font and end of the uh, bold you can see and the text here that means you can see the html part we are making it bold and blue color you can see here in uh, instead of uh, like uh, this text you, if suppose you want to display any type of text then you can uh, use your uh, like uh, code here css html css code now just make a preview now you can see here we can't uh, allow user to edit or uh, change this uh, text only user can view this text suppose you want to display any type of calculation in that same case you will do the calculation uh, in the here you can see there is a property called uh, here text property here you can write your code and display the calculation here user can enter anything like i will enter this is power wraps training so here you can use uh, i mean user can enter the text user can delete the text user can modify the text everything you can do it and here here also like you can only display the text including the uh, html and css formatting let me show you some more property of these three control here um, I mean, uh, in this level control, you can't, uh, I mean, you can see here in this uh, text input control, you can, there is a property called mode property. Here, you it, it, user either can put single line, um, single line of uh, text, multi line of text or password text. That means, suppose in case you want to put your name, then that will be your single line of text. And multi-line means suppose you want to put your address then that that will be your multi-line and the password thing suppose i will make it password so it will display as your password mode i mean it will display dot 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 like this okay but here in this label control it is not possible at all whereas in the html text control it is also not possible okay 
this three control uh, supports wrap property wrap property means you can see here in uh, like the right side wrap property wrap property means suppose um, uh, there is uh, i mean you, you will write something here this is a or the dot 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 i will put you can see here it expands the space i mean uh, it is providing you more space uh, so in this three control it supports the wrap property tell you the next thing html control it, it is uh, ht sorry html content if this label control doesn't support any html content whereas the text input control also doesn't support any html content only this html text control supports html text and styling okay so now let me show you one example uh, that so that you can understand easily you can see here this is my registration form and the second one is my details screen you can see here let me so preview so i will put something name is kelvin delf so in the password i will write something so here i will uh, write something in the description i will uh, write something registration form and uh, you can see here pool name password description and this registration form all these are label control whereas for uh, these three are text input control and this is a navigated uh, navigate button once the user will click on it it will go to the second screen so here you can see details screen uh, details is my label control this one text label control is my label control html text control is my label control and here you can see uh, below the text level control i have taken another level control and this text html text control uh, below the html text control i have taken another level control you can see the difference between one level control and one is text input control sorry html text control so here you can see the full name password description is visible with blue color so i made it bold and blue color wherever uh, in this level control it doesn't support at all now i will tell you how you can make it so for that i will take another screen new screen let me take another screen i will take um, i mean i will insert three level i will show you quickly how you can do that you just copy paste it once like level control is uh, like uh, for this copy and paste here also paste i mean one is for uh, this one full name password and description you can make it full name you can write the uh, text inside the text property full name password and description right so you will write password make sure that you will put inverted comma else it will not check and uh, here you can take description now i will take another uh, sorry three Uh, text input control wherever user will uh, enter the text and i will make all the things blank so here one just copy and paste over here and just copy and paste over here full name user will provide the full name over here password will be you can change it the uh, password mode and the description part you can make it as uh, what multi line text so you can see here multi line and then full name let it be single line now uh, that's it for the first screen now i will put a navigate button you can see here navigate once i will put sorry you can go to the icon property over here you can take a button control and as well as any icon so next icon will be there you can see next 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 where is next button so if you are not getting then simply you can put next arrow yeah so here like next arrow for this next arrow you need to write a code called navigate so whenever you want to navigate to or redirect to any particular screen then you you can use the navigate function so and uh, inside of the navigate function you need to put the screen name so make sure we'll put the specific screen name as it will not go so now it's done again i will take another screen where it will uh, show me all the output of that so insert i will uh, i just want to uh, show in a label control one is label control and another one is 
but html text so i will pick another one html text you can see here now i will write the code inside of this this two okay so i have copied the code from my notepad just i will uh, simply put in the text property so here you can see uh, you can format the text as well so txt full name instead of that you can put your uh, text control or label control name sorry text control name uh, so first one is uh, like you can see here text uh, input 3 so you can put here text input 3 sorry here you just need to uh, text input 3 so text input 3 and uh, here you can put for the password text input uh, 3 bar 3 hyphen 1 and uh, for this one you can put uh, txt sorry text input 3 uh, 1 sorry 2 this one okay so now done uh, yeah dot and uh, text should be text okay so now uh, like uh, it is done for this label control you can put a border uh, in the right side like there is a border property you can put that one and the next one i will uh, write a code you can see here so i will copy paste here format text yeah so here you need to change like uh, once you format text so you need to put the text input control name that is txt uh, in text input 3 and uh, here for the password you need to change it txt text 3 1 and uh, uh, for the description you need to change txt text input 3 2 okay that's it now what you need to do exactly suppose uh, it, it doesn't look good actually text input 1 2 3 so you can change your text input name by uh, double clicking on it you can tell uh, you can take it for txt name and uh, here you can take txt uh, password or pwd or here you can take for the description sorry can't name cause i already um, have taken the same name so it is not taking so txt password or something like txt password you can take and for this one a txt description so i can put this one so you will go to the this screen and if you will see the text input control name has been already changed that you changed here okay so now uh, it is done just go to the preview and uh, sorry just go to the screen and just make it preview just type something randomly like i will put ronaldo and then the password mode i i will put something and then the description this is a form it will put something then you will click on this navigate button it will go to the next screen where you can see your uh, uh, where you can see your result here you can see full name ronaldo this thing and uh, this is the description wherever the html content you can see here it is displaying like this so uh, in this way you can uh, use the label control text input control and as well as html text control so in the next video i will tell you how you can use a radio button control and as well as a data table control in power apps